Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for March 12th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, March 12th, 1664, New Jersey became a British colony when King Charles II granted land to his brother James, the Duke of York. The next year, the English began to settle the colony. The first settlement was at Elizabethtown. Also, on this day in 1912, Juliet Gordon Lowe founded the Girl Guides, which later became the Girl Scouts of America. From the original group of 18 Girl Guides in Savannah, Georgia, Girl Scouting has grown to 3.7 million members and is the largest educational organization for girls in the world. And on this day in 1993, Janet Reno was confirmed by the Senate to be the nation's first female attorney general. The Attorney General represents the United States in legal matters and gives legal advice and opinions to the President and to the heads of the executive departments of the government. Word Power! Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the saying, fly by the seat of your pants. Now, if you fly by the seat of your pants, it means that you do something without knowing, really, how to do it. I mean, you might say, I never learned how to ride horses, but we were at a farm and my friends wanted me to come on a ride with them, so I just flew by the seat of my pants and had a great time. The saying comes from the 1930s, when pilots in the U.S. Army Air Corps sometimes had to fly planes with broken instrument panels. Some planes didn't even have instruments, and so the pilots had to sit on the seats of their pants or sit still and use their smarts and luck to fly the plane. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, who was the world's tallest man? The answer is Robert Pershing Wadlow. His height was measured in Alton, Illinois on July 14, 1950. Mr. Wadlow stood 8 feet 11 inches tall, or 2.72 meters. Health tips. <laughs> when your parents tell you not to eat cookies and cake before dinner, they're teaching you good eating habits. People who have good eating habits are people who have learned to control their appetites. They know when to eat and what to eat. I do you use textbooks at school? Some companies that print textbooks are beginning to print on recycled paper. So open your textbook to the front page and see if it's printed on recycled paper. If it isn't, ask your teacher if your class can write a letter to the company that makes your textbooks. Explain in your letter that you think using recycled paper is an important way to take care of the planet. Think about how much water, energy, and trees could be saved if all of the textbooks used in all of the schools across all of the United States were made from recycled paper. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>